Chase Middle School. I'm Eddie. And I'm Eloise. And this is CCTV. Today is October 19th, 2022. ASB has started a fundraiser. The theme is Under the Sea. It will last for two weeks and there will be a fun day on the last day of the fundraiser. You'll be able to win prizes depending on the amount of money you donate. ASB created a story for us. Here it is. people at Chase got us enough money to buy this new boat for us. Yeah, but it's still a long ways from our original boat. We still need more money to refill our treasury. Maybe we can find some in the water. I see something. I think I see it too. It's getting closer. It is. It's Andrew. <laughs> oh, Andrew! How'd you guys get enough money to buy this boat? The students at Chase brought it. Wow, that's cool. How'd they do that? They went to the Chase website and donated. We also figured out how to send them an electronic letter to donate too. The money is still coming in. And we still need it. We had enough money to buy this boat, but we still need more money for them to do their sports, music, and clubs. That's cool. So we get a new boat and Chase gets to do all these cool clubs, sports, and activities. Sounds like a win-win to me. Yeah, and if they keep donating money, they get to do fun activities and we get a better boat. Yeah. yeah, so go to the Chase website or bring in cash or check to the business office. Arr. <laughs> Arr. Just a reminder that Fall Fest is right around the corner. There will be games and fun booths for you and your family. Four game tickets will only cost you one dollar. Flag football has been having a good season so far, so let's take a look at some pictures we took. Great job, flag football. Next, we went out and asked Mr. Paget for some behavior reminders. He told us that students have been talking more on their phones than with other people. So, turn to the person next to you and talk with them instead. Now for some tech tips from Ms. Brown. If you are ever having trouble logging into PowerSchool, you can always email Mrs. Brown for some help. Her email address is right here in your email. Just let her know that you aren't able to log into PowerSchool. Speaking of Ms. Brown, we interviewed her this week. Let's see what she had to say. How long have you been at Chase? Ooh, this is my 12th year at Chase. Why do you like being a librarian? It's the best job in the whole school. I get to work with every single person in our building, meaning every teacher, every student, or anybody else. What is your favorite book? Well, picking a favorite book is really hard for me. It's like if somebody asks you what your favorite song or singer is. I have way too many to narrow it down. But I brought three books today. Can I show you those? So, one of my favorite YA authors would be Margaret Peterson Haddix. And this series is like my favorite of hers. It was the first series I read of hers, but it's so good. I want you to imagine that you were the third person born in your family and families are only allowed to have two kids and you have to hide. Think about what might happen. The other one I brought is Uglies. And this one is a series. It's got Uglies, Specials, Extras, and Perfects. And this one, when you turn 16, there's a special thing that can happen. You can choose to turn pretty, which means you can get special surgery and have all these cool enhancements. So it's a bit of an adventure. So would you choose to have the surgery and become a pretty, or would you choose to not and just be yourself? That's the question. Now, the whole time I was reading this book, I felt like I could just picture it as a movie and that had never happened to me before. And then I found out this summer, they are making it into a movie. So I'm super excited to see what happens. And then the last one I brought today is a bit of a classic. And it's good old Hatchet by Gary Paulson because his are like true adventures. In Hatchet, what happens is he's on an airplane and it crashes and he's the only survivor. So think about what would you do with bears and other creatures in the night? How scared would you be? All right, thank you, Ms. Brown. Thanks, Mrs. Brown. Next up, the question of the week. I want to be famous to be an actress. I would like to be famous for uh, discovering a new type of species. So I really want to, um, in the future, let's see, I think I want to make games in the future. I'd be famous for probably making music. 
a chef. I would want to invent something important that matters. For working hard and being nice to people. Probably just say for one of the sports I play, either basketball or football. Um, for being one of the first girls on a football team. Probably for playing this famous for something. I would want to be famous for like acting or something like that. Probably be famous for acting. I would be famous for curing some disease. For selling octopuses. That's a tricky question. I'd like to be famous for editing videos. Next up, here's something random. campus this, this week, we took pictures at our PepCon. Let's see what we got. It is Johnny Sabastinas. Come on down and pick your prize at the wall. Meet us there. Here we go with number two. Liz? Gus O. Awesome job, Gus O. Come on down. I'm guessing it's Gus Overhauser, come on down to the prize wall and pick your prize. Keith Greenman. Awesome job, that's our winner number three. Thank you very much, come on down to the prize wall. Okay, here's number four. Our fourth winner will be... Read it, Liz. Jesse Hubbard. All right, come on down. Jesse Hubbard, come on down. We hope you enjoyed this episode of CCTV. CCTV. I'm Eddie. I'm Eloise. And we, we hope, hope you have a great week. week.